are live. Where are we? In Tribeca. It's so loud. In Tribeca. <laughs> in Tribeca? Yeah, we're never in Tribeca. We should film in Tribeca. <laughs> should we be able? Oh, let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Soho Live. Is that what it's called? Soho Live. Soho Right, Megan, are you ready for your short haircut? Oh, yeah. Are you scared? No. I would be. I am thrilled. I was out late last night. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I would be. I'd be scared. <laughs> so, let's just section the top out just a little. We're going to go for something nice and short. So let's put it right in right here. Uh-oh. I'm going to set my guide point. What do you think, Olivia? Olivia, I, th I think that Megan definitely is not scared of wearing shorts. <laughs> she's not scared? Look, she's fell asleep. I fell asleep. She's, she's thriving asleep. right now. She oh, just fell asleep. Cut it, yeah. Yeah. Cut yeah. it off. Yeah, cut it off. Cut it off. I just zip, zip. Whack, whack. Zip, zip. Whack, whack. whack. <laughs> <laughs> zip, zip. You know, I've not used the clippers in a long time. I think it's going to be kind of fun, don't you? <laughs> zip, zip. Whack, whack, whack. Is that what you do, Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I got to get on the other side. Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, she's got that little light bit right here. Oh, yeah. Remember that bit? I do. They have a light bit. <laughs> she has a light bit. Oh, right, I'm going to jump in here. So, it is September the what? The 5th. The 5th. Mm -hmm. What happened 14 years ago? Uh, 18 years ago, sorry. On the 5th? On the 5th. Do you know what happened 18 years ago? No. It was day two of Erosia. Oh, day two. Day two. Aww. Not Daytona. Day two. <laughs> two years. It was two days. Day number two. Thank you. Day number two. <laughs> Comb number two. <laughs> <laughs> See that? She's a wet. She, she awoke from her slumber. Yeah. <laughs> So right now we are going to be cutting into this line. Rebecca doesn't have her fancy tripod, so she's going to get tired. <laughs> Is that right? Yep, that's right. Yep, yep. yep, yep, yep. Brian says, yay, Arojo was born. <laughs> Arojo was born. That was 1966 when Arojo was born. <laughs> oh, me. All right, Mr. Brian. <laughs> she's like giggling. This is so she much can, fun. She kind of like. She kind of like that, didn't she? Let's pull the clipper out. Let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Who knew? Who cool. oh, knew? Do you think that's gonna work? Oh my gosh, go, yeah. look at this stuff. So what guard is this? What did you put on for me? Tres. 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 So this is kind of fun. Yeah, we have a barbering program starting. When is that barbering program starting? Does anybody know? Just me, I suppose. <laughs> oh my gosh, so <laughs> do I know what's going on in the world. September, September, Barbering, Cosmo, Cosmo, I'm starting teaching my new Cosmo class next week. It's going to be exciting. Oh, look at these clippers, I like that. Ooh, it's been a long time since I did that. Ooh, it's been a long time. Ooh, it's been a long time. Ooh, it's been a long time. <laughs> Maybe we just leave this bit there. Ooh. Nikki on. says good morning, happy anniversary. Good morning, yeah. And Nikki, how are you, darling? 
I'll be coming out to LA in November. I got a couple of gigs with L'Oreal. Should be a lot of fun. I will be in Philadelphia this weekend. And I'm uh, gonna be uh, working a program for L'Oreal. Any more clips? Nope. Oh, yes, yes, let's clip it. Well, be cool that coming. You can do my next, all right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Philadelphia on that Sunday. I'll be in Minneapolis on Monday. So if you want to do some razor cutting with me, I will be in Minneapolis. And I'm doing a Happy Mondays. I, I'm going to be doing some complimentary education, shared space in Minneapolis, which is connected to Moxie Salon. So if you want to see me this weekend, download the app from Arojo Social, from the app store it's called Arojo Social, and uh, come and say hi. We'd like to see you. And then on what day is Sunday is the what? Eighth. Eighth. On Sunday the fifteenth, we're doing an expose in Philadelphia. Tickets $25. Come and see us. I'm going to have a lot of people there. I'm going to have a lot of my ambassadors with me. I'm going to be doing a uh, big program Sunday night. And then I'm heading out to Charlotte. Charlotte. And I'm going to be doing a program in Charlotte. On the Monday. Happy Monday, Charlotte. Literally under two weeks. So right now we're doing a short haircut for Megan. It's okay, she's got new glasses and we hit them. So we can do whatever we want. Is that right? Yeah. This is fun. I opened, this is a number three. I opened up the guard, so I opened up the blade so it's not super short. I'm just gonna take it down and then I'll refine it with a scissor. I'll take it a little tighter with the scissor. Doreen says good morning. Good morning. Doreen mm -hmm. or Dorian? D O R E E N. Doreen! Come on, Doreen. You know what I mean. <laughs> Who sung that record? Um, Come on. It's the rock and pop. Dexy's Midnight Runners? Oh, you did know that, didn't I you? I know. Thank you. <laughs> Rebecca's old. She's <laughs> Rebecca's old. <laughs> You're old, Rebecca. I know. You're your grandma. <laughs> Alexis says, morning, see you Sunday. See you Sunday, Alexis. What about Saturday night? James says, we'll be seeing you in Charlotte at Paul Mitchell. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun. Paul Mitchell School. I'm going to be with my friend William, who works for... Uh, yeah. Who works at the uh, Paul Mitchell School. Alright, so pass me some scissors and let's have a look and see what we got. Do Would I have my... The black one? Sorry? Would you prefer the black one? I'm good to stay with my red one for C Boku. Keep those trimmers there because I, you know, I want to keep them so in case I use them. Alright, let's tighten it up just a little and then I'm going to cut the top. So just bring this up, clean it up. Megan has a lot of hair, don't you, love? I sure do. What do you do for a living, Meg? Well, I am a model and a writer, and then I sell vintage fabric. Wow, so yeah. she's anything, if you've got any old fabric, any no, old no, socks, No, no, I have plenty, I have she'll plenty. She'll sell them for you, if you've got any old socks. If you're looking for any <laughs> old, oh no, we're talking actual, you know, 18th, 19th century vintage fabric. Have uh -huh. you heard of Green Lady? No, but I've got some green socks. Um, uh, she, green socks. She's this woman in Brooklyn who dresses in all green. Oh, and yeah. has for 30 years, yeah. Yeah. And she was a textile designer. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, and so I have, I'm helping her sell her entire vintage collection. It's very cool. Is it green? Uh, it, some of it is, but she's mostly pilfered that for herself, you know? So mm. <laughs> she... Um, and how do people contact you if they're interested? Oh, Sweetheart Vintage NYC on Instagram or at Gmail. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if you want to get some old socks, she's selling some old socks. <laughs> They're not socks, man. They're not socks. I swear. They might be socks. I don't know. Socks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, it's funny. Because you get most of the fun. Melissa. I'm a colorist. I was like, if you want me to slap a single process, I don't think you would be happy about it. <laughs> was it just, was it, which one was Melissa with the colorist? I'm sorry? Who was the colorist? She was really nice. <laughs> she was really nice. She had a mother's touch. <laughs> she had a mother's touch? She really did. She gave the best hug. Wow, she what had, a... She had a mother's touch. What do you think of her? She was really nice. She was really nice. She was really nice. What do you think of her? I'm not sure. I'm not sure neither. She had a mother's touch. I don't think she's too sure about that. <laughs> she had a mother's touch. She gave a lovely hug. She had a lovely hug. <laughs> yeah, really. She really, she, she, she squeezed, yeah, she squeezed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, is that, is that, you, you can go for therapy for that, you know? Todd Dowell says good morning. Ah, good morning, Todd. It's a wrap, Jim. Okay. So now let's just bring everything back. We're going to keep the length of the front. I'm dropping everything today. Olivia. She greased everything herself. That's what she did. <laughs> I know what she does. Yeah, I know. She was playing tricks. I know what she does. Yeah. I know what she does. Yeah, I saw her do it. She's, she's a greased lightning. <laughs> Let's worry about the sides later. We're just going to connect it in. Now, uh, Megan has a lot of hair. Uber strong. Uber long. Uber thick. Yeah. It's a lot of hair. It's true. It's the truth. I feel like every time she's here, you always like constantly remind her of her long. It grows so fast too. Hair. Yeah, it's like such a. It doesn't grow out either. It grows big. Yeah. It just gets large. Large and in charge. Okay, I'm gonna change the conversation. <laughs> large and in charge. Olivia. Olivia. Large and in charge. So don't forget, I am just pulling everything back. I want to keep the length to the front. I'm not texturizing just yet, but I will. But for now, I'm just pulling everything back because we're slowly gonna craft the shape together. In the salon, I book on the 45. It means I got 45 minutes to work my magic. So you gotta kind of move pretty quickly if you can. Using my hydro mist just to keep the moisture in the air. It's easy to control when you're actually working with the hydro mist. Look at that. It's good. It's nice to do shot hair. So we're just going to continue this cut section across. Come the hair back. It does kick and swirl. That's what the hair does. It kicks and it swirls. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just really trying to just focus on general shape. So the first thing that we do is general shape. The second thing we do is kind of refining. Then we'll do the detail and then we'll do the finishing touch. So right now it's general shape. I want to keep the length through the front. It's kind of like almost long enough, but it would be better longer. This is the beginning of it. So it's a, we want to try and keep this as the length. So as I pull the hair back, as I work to the front, we're gonna keep the length. Then we'll come through the sides. We're gonna use a little, te do you have texturizing shears too? Yeah. We're gonna use some texturizing shears in here too, to blend. Right here, right at the front, nothing should be coming off. It's good. Keep all that. Let's go this way. Fine again. Now, don't forget, we have an amazing event coming up later in October. It's called Inspired. And um, it's a two day event all based on that the thing that we love the most which is inspiration it's not a hair show it's a, an event to refill your well of inspiration it's called inspired you can check it out on erosioinspired.com 
And then next year, we have our marquee event. Now, yesterday was my 18th anniversary of being a salon owner in, uh, and creating a Rojo. I was a salon owner before for four years. I had a salon called the Rojo Cutler. It was a partnership business and I broke free to create a Rojo. So yesterday was 18 years. But next year, we have an event called a Rojo Expo. And the Rojo Expo is going to be at the TWA Hotel and Headquarters at JFK. And uh, if you've not seen that, check it out, arojoexpo.com. Pretty amazing. Have you been there, I'm Olivia? Sorry, I was concentrating on your haircut. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't even listening, was she? <laughs> she wasn't even listening. I get in the days when I watch people haircut. Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the days when I watch people haircut. <laughs> So I, still in a I don't even make proper sentences. <laughs> I don't even make proper sentences. <laughs> That's just a given. <laughs> but Arojo Expo 2020 is available for you to purchase on arojopro.com. Check it out. Arojo Expo at the TWA headquarters. If you're an ambassador and you carry Arojo product, this week, you can actually make a purchase of hair products and get a free ticket. That's part of what we do with our ambassador program. We like to uh, reward our salons for their support, and we like to build business. So if you're an Erosio ambassador, you can actually get a free ticket on, based off a purchase. And if you're not an Erosio ambassador, why not? <laughs> why not? Look, what I got, what I got, what I got, coffee. How's your coffee? Non-existent, just yet. <laughs> Alright. How's your coffee? You don't drink coffee, do you? I already had my coffee. Oh, she drinks tea. She's a green tea. Are you? Okay, let's raise her. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the short piece here to the long piece there. Do you want to come over here, uh, Malivia? So let's raise it up. So I'm just working my blade. I'm create a lot of softness, and I'll create a bit of a bit of a, a blend using the flat of the blade. Now in here, I'm just going to go in and use the tip texturize and it kind of blurs blurs the line so it becomes uh, nice and softer tip of the blade coming through here working from short to long I'm using this technique it's called tipping we want to keep the lens through the front we just want to kind of blend it now she her hair grows in a hundred different ways you can kind of see that don't be scared of the hair Let's give it a shot. Scott says good morning. Good morning, Scott. Donna says happy anniversary, Nick. Thank you. 18 years in business. My God, the business has changed. And it's about to change. I'm going to revolutionize what we do. No idea. I came with a great idea. And I'm going to do it. Stay tuned. It doesn't, my new idea doesn't really begin. It's actually going to begin in Brooklyn very soon, but then it's gonna, it's gonna work its way over to uh, Manhattan. It's gonna be very cool. Get ready, Freddy. Are you ready for it, Megan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she ready. Mm -hmm. Use the flat of the blade all the way through. Grab it, work nice and cleanly. So use the flat of the blade, take the hair out. Yeah. Morgan says, can't wait to hear. Oh, Morgan. Is that Morgan Reed? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be here, Morgan, this weekend. I'm going to be in Philly, so I'll see your buddy when I'm in Philadelphia next weekend. I know, it's your, you're not your buddy, your co-worker. I'm also looking at my calendar for times to uh, get up to your neck of the woods. It's a nice saying that, isn't it? Neck of the woods. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah, like 
What is the neck of the loop? Exactly. Your neck in the woods. <laughs> so your neck of the woods. Oh. Do you know what it means? Tell me. No, you tell me. <laughs> I just say it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> I know nothing. Okay, so now I've got my V Max. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's work on the, uh, again, we're working on the blend. So I'm going to keep this pretty loose because she's got her hair and there's a light patch here. Have you seen the light patch? Her hair is so strong, the texturizers will depower it. When I say depower it, they'll just kind of blur the lines a little. And that's why I love texturizing shears. I wasn't allowed to use texturizing shears in my early career. You do soon. This was uh, contraband. It was illegal. <coughs> Which made you a better hairdresser. Because you had to do everything with scissors. But having said that, I think the texturizing shears really do come in handy. And I do think they're a tool that you need. So I'm not that much of a purist that I think that you don't need them, I think you do need them. Especially on some of the textures that you work on. Now when I lived in England, you know, different, they're very different hair, traditionally, than what we get here in New York City. Because here in New York, it's the melting pot. So you get a bit of everything. Calm that down so you look, you're looking, you're calm and you're also looking in the mirror. You're looking for the visual blend as much as anything else. Let flow and feel come in. And also texturize with the texturizers. You know, I know that Megan's hair is strong. It is powerful. So when we cut with the texturizing, it kind of depowers it. Eliminates the uh, thickness. September already. What do you think? It's crazy, isn't it? It's Virgo season. It's what? Virgo season. Virgo season? Are you a Virgo? I am. When's your birthday? The 17th. Yo, shawty. It's <laughs> your birthday. <laughs> stop, stop doing that. <laughs> We're going to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to getting to Philadelphia. The next two weekends I'm going to be in Philadelphia. This weekend I'm going to be doing an event for L'Oreal. The following weekend during the show premiere I am going to be doing an expose. We have some great ambassadors that are going to be working alongside me. Alexis Hoban, Daniel Hardy, so uh, Stephen Adams. So definitely come and check us out. Tickets $25. Where did you buy the tickets from, Rebecca? Uh, Rojo Pro. RojoPro.com. Todd is a Virgo. Is he? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, Todd. Yeah, Todd. <laughs> yeah, Todd. <laughs> so get him started. Let's have a look here. A lot of fun. A lot of fun in the sun. So we have a new Cosmo class starting Monday. Every Monday for the next four weeks we have a new class. I will be teaching one of the lessons in the new class which starts on September the... Uh, I think September... What's Monday? Monday will be Nine. the 9th, yeah? September the 9th. Then we have class, part-time class starting the following week. Full-time class starting the following week in Soho. And we have our barbering program the end of September. So if you want to come join the barbering program, we'd love to have you.
Yes, please. It's so powerful. Please depower it. Look, see it is. It's too Ooh. powerful. Sham wow. Uh, hydroponic. I mean, hydroponic. Thank you. <laughs> Put our hydro in there. So we can see what the shape is with product. Mist is our cutting uh, lotion. It's also a spray conditioner. It's a beautiful product, by the way. Stephanie says it's cute. Thank you, Stephanie. We are going to need cream wax. And we are going to need a uh, fiber, and we are going to need cream wax, and we are going to need fiber <laughs> and cream wax. Danielle says, hello, Nick, chiming in late. Hey, hello, Danielle. You join us whenever you can. So you know you can feel it. So you notice these texturizing have the great shears. They keep all the length right in here. And, uh, you know, we kind of got to push it around, yeah? Push it around. You push the hair around, don't let the hair push you around. You push the hair around. When you're going short like this, you've really got to push it around so you can see how the shape's working. Donna says, I love it. Would love some blonde tips in the front fringe. Oh, I've got some great tips. Very <laughs> 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 I think some blonde tips would be good. In fact, if all this was blonde, it'd look awesome. So you're kind of just blending out. And then even, I have another pair of texturizing shears, I think, from Olivia. Let's come through it. Stephanie says, I didn't see the before. Me neither. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't so long, but there's a lot of hair on the floor. It's like indiscriminate. I think you can see a picture. She posted it on Instagram, is that right? Was that you? She yeah, I did. a picture this morning, pre haircut. To mine, yes. Thank you. Did you tag me in it? Yes, I did. That's where I got it. said, so if you want it. She posted it. Team up. <laughs> so you've got to crush your leg like this, you see. It makes you look more. Hello. How are you? Looking your hair up, please, Olivia. <laughs> really? Shake, shake it down. Uh, oh, shake it down. Shake it down, yeah. Oh, that's not shaking it down. It's a blow pipe. Look at hair all over the place, you crazy <laughs> woman. <laughs> that's what you meant. I don't. No. I'm not cutting your hair cut there. Shake it down, then it means this. Not low <laughs> blow in the face. I don't know who is <laughs> You almost got cut hair in my coffee. <laughs> it's a little unplugged today. Okay, we have 
finer, finer texturizing the shear snip. So if you look, I'm gonna show you guys. So these are a little bit, so these are much finer. See the difference? More teeth, yeah? These are English, less teeth. American, more teeth, yeah? <laughs> And this is going to give you soft, more softness. So when the hair is so strong like this. That's from my red comb, please. Sharon says, hey, Nick. Hello, Sharon. Tanya says, looks, looks lovely on her. Great haircut as always. Oh, thank you. Always be careful of the ear. You don't want to catch it, cut it. As the hair grows in, just come out. Always comb into the hair so the hair pops straight out. So come in here, I'm just gonna point in. There's a little bit of natural, it's like a lighter piece right there. That's a little perfect spot. Let's see if I come through here. Let's see if I do two, it just takes it out. Watch, one, two. Watch, one, two. And I'm just gonna lift and twist. This really does kind of depower the strength of the hair. You want to get the front longer. So we're trying to cut it so that the front will get longer, so she's got much more of a style. It's disconnected through the front, so it's longer at the top, right at the front here. And that hydro mist, it doesn't um, damp the hair down and, and make it oily, but it gives the hair a little bit more Pliability. How's life in Soho uh, in Tribeca? Sorry, Olivia. Amazing. You like it? Great. I love it, yeah. How's the, new, how's the redesigned salon working out? Beautifully. I love the design. Is it better? Yeah, definitely. It's a lot more open space, a lot more light, natural lighting, more white, clean looking. Yeah. Twist. Wow. Ooh, Sham. <laughs> what are you doing with the rest of the day, kid? Um, you know, I'm. I have today to myself, so wow. just enjoying it, I guess. Yeah. Amazing. Jealous. Sham. Wow. Sham. Wow. Shen Wo. Shen Wow. Shen Wow. <laughs> Shen Yen. Shen Yun. That was that Asian, uh, that Chinese uh, performance, oh, wasn't no, it? No, the dancer. Shen Yun. Yeah. Shen Yun. It's not Shen Wo, well, it's Shen Yun. Very visual. Very, very visual. Did you see it? I've gone crazy. Did Look how crazy I've gone. <laughs> it's only five, three or five. My watch is broken. Po boy. Yes. Po boy. Did you say po boy? I said oh boy. You said po boy. It's not no. like a sandwich. Are you or hungry? Po boy. What's a po boy? It is a sandwich. It's like a maybe New Orleans. Yeah. They call it that. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. My other texturizers, please. Let's see, Boku. Can I have my black comb, please? It's in your pocket. Oh, may we, may we, may we, may we. 
look at someone in French. Texturize, texturize. Okay, so now it's starting to, I like, notice how I've allowed the hair to dry, and the reason being is I want to see the hair, the hair kind of expands when it's dry, when it's wet, it's flatter, skinnier, but as it dries, you kind of see what you got. So very visual through the top. And even though you want to keep the lens, yeah, you still want to make sure you've got a little texture in there. That way the hair's going to hold uh, up better. Sometimes it's nice just to watch, you know? This kind of stuff, sometimes you don't really even want to explain because really it's just visual. Very visual. And you're just kind of pushing through into the hair and you're looking at it. We just finished our boot camp class. We had uh, Four weeks of boot camp. I taught two of the weeks, that was a lot of work. It's exhausting. You're now teaching class for eight hours, nine to five, and then doing clients at the end of every day. A lot of work. But don't worry, I got my new revolutionary idea coming. It's revolutionary. It's gonna be wild. And now you're all interested to find out what it is. Is it a robo neck? Is it what? A robot? A robo. A robot. Robo neck. Is it robo neck? No. <laughs> no. But, you know, this industry's changing. Right? So, guess what? We're going to change with it. We're going to change with it. New ideas, new concepts, new thought processes. But the latest idea is estiology. It's going to be really good. Brian says she's beautiful, great shape on her. Aw, thank you. Is that Mr. Waldron? Mm hmm Hello, Mr. Waldron. Hi, Mr. Waldron. Hello, Mr. Waldron. Hello, Mr. Waldron. <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Waldron. He likes that. I know, hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Owen's pajamas right now. <laughs> He's got pajamas and slippers on. Look at that. Mr. <laughs> we call him Mr. Waldron. <laughs> oh, Mr. Waldron, sing me a song. <laughs> <laughs> See, is that cream wax? Is that cream wax in good shape? Yeah. It's shaking. Yeah. Oh. No, it's shaking. Right, you got to keep that cream wax nice and uh, tight. If you don't, if you don't tighten the lid, it dries out. And I'm glad he was in good shape. I'll be doing. I'm going to Albuquerque on the sixth of October. I'm doing an event with my uh, dear friends. Square Root, Tracy Vasquez, Derek Anthony, I think Brian Waldron, Mr. Waldron's coming. Yeah? Like trimmers, please, trimmers, young lady. Those trimmers, those clippers, those clippers. Trimmers, clippers, some of the mounds. That's very technical. <laughs> very technical. Oh, Mr. Waldron. Sing me a song. You think I've gone crazy today? It's because it's my anniversary. You know, that's what happens when you have an anniversary, you go crazy. You don't want to go super, super sharp. Just clean that just a little and I'll do a little bit more of the
You know, the texturizing shears are really good for this because it uh, softens out the pokiness of the hair. April says happy anniversary. Thank you, April. How are you? Beth says it looks great on her. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to spray it down with Hydro Mist again to have a look at it. And then that'll be the final time that I wet it down. It's going to tell me, I've allowed it to dry so I can see what you got. Still got a lot of hair right here. Just depower it. 3.15 on my watch. Time's on yours. I don't know if Scott's still watching, but I've got to call with Scott as soon as I finish. So I'm finishing in a minute. So I think we got it. Let's try this. Wow, she's, she's hairy. You wanna, you wanna just lightly, gently, softly. Oh, look at that. You have a mother's touch. Oh, it's a mother's touch. Yes. <laughs> she's got a mother's touch. Gentle. Blanca asks, what are you using? <clears throat> oh, this is a hydro mist. It's a Rojo product. It's amazing. If you're interested in a Rojo product? You know? It smells very nice. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Linden Blossom. Armando says, nice texture. Thanks, Armando. Jesse says, hi. Hey, Jesse. How are you, buddy? A busy cut. <laughs> she can do it. She can do it. Madam <sighs> Defense, the salmon sing. Who are you? Who are you? Can you see without your glasses? You know, I can see a little. A little, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Don't forget, definitely come and see us if you're in Philadelphia for the trade show. Sunday night. It's a week on Sunday. If you want to come and uh, see what we're doing with L'Oreal, you can come and see me on Sunday in Philadelphia. Spend a few few a few days in Philly over the next few uh, well, next few weeks. Alright, let's clean her up. Let's get this show on the road. There you go. Have a look. Take the towel and everything. Oh, there she is. Nice mother's touch. Yeah. Her hair's all attached. <laughs> nice short cut. And I think the first thing I'm going to go, I'm going to do a little combo. So we'll take a little bit of cream wax, which is our creamy wax. Rub that in here. I'm gonna rub it in. 
and uh, Melissa, otherwise known as Olivia, put me a little bit of fibre in here. Well, anytime you're ready. <laughs> You've got some strands. Squeezy, baby. Wow, it's in, it's in on the left. That's it. I couldn't even see. Oh my god, you're going crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. Fibre, I'm going to mix them both together. So I get this nice, it's got, it got me the waxy feel, but also with a little bit of texture. Drop it down. from now we'll do this again for our holiday edition and you'll keep growing it nice and long in front. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Don't forget we'll see you in Philly this Sunday. Melissa? Yes. Olivia? Bye. Where do you cut hair? Tribeca. And how much is it with you for a cut? 98. 98. So <laughs> come and see Bolivia <laughs> aka Olivia alternatively known as Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> so where's your glasses? Should we give her oh, glasses? Yeah. Let's give her glasses. Let's see what happens when she sees. Wow. Oh, Who are you? I know. I know. Oh. Uh, see you next week. We'll be in Brooklyn next week. So we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. <laughs>